Rockbase was put together from components downloaded from 3D Content Central, an online repository of thousands of standard parts that can be configured and downloaded for free. To change an individual plate, just select what you need from the list of available sizes. If we make all the plates transparent, you can see most of the design work for this tool has been done already, and we just need to place the inserts we created earlier. As this is an automotive part and needs left and right handed versions, we'll simply mirror the assembly of inserts. SOLIDWORKS is very flexible with assembly structures. Moving parts into their correct sub-assemblies is a very simple drag and drop action. Hiding everything but the inserts helps us see exactly where we're up to. Let's move these two cavity pieces into the fixed half of the mould. And these two core pieces into the moving half. Then move these core pins into the moving half assembly. These side cores into the slide assembly. And this lifter into the lifter assembly. Now everything is accounted for. This lifter does need adjusting and assembling correctly, so first we'll just offset the bottom face so that it extends down. We should really add the connecting detail here, but we can do that later. Next we need to make sure that the lifter mechanism is working correctly by adding a mating condition that will allow the lifter to slide. Now let's see that all in action. When dragging the moving half away, we can see the slides move out along the angle pins. Moving the ejector plate shows the lifters moving correctly, but we only have one ejector pin, so let's address that now. To help locate the pins and trim the ends of them correctly, the split surface from the original design part and the ejector pin location sketch can be inserted here. This determines where the pin should go, making the positioning and copy of the pins very quick and easy. The split surface can then trim the tops of the ejector pins, getting the exact profile required. Since the pins are also needed for the mirrored version of the part on the other side of the mould, we should mirror them around the centre plane. SOLIDWORKS is then able to categorise these into size and shape to help determine if there are any duplicates. If we now go back to the main mould assembly, the pins are all there and we can check that they fit correctly.
Finally, we need to consider how this mold will be cooled. On the fixed half, we see that we already have some water lines created in the bolster plate. These can then be continued into the insert, referencing the location of the O-ring recesses using a 3D sketch. A 3D sketch is a convenient way to draw the path of the water line in all three dimensions at the same time. Here we are drawing vertically in the z-axis and ensuring that both lines remain the same length. A neat way to display the model is to split the window and connect both orthographic views, making it easier to visualize exactly what you are sketching. So now we can adjust the height of the waterline and sketch the remainder of the features at the same time. We'll complete this design by opening the insert in its own window and use library features to add the waterline hole details. This library feature contains configurations for connectors, plugs, O-rings or just the hole itself, so it's easy to choose what you need when adding the features. These are placed simply by selecting the face to drill and the depth, defined by the 3D sketch we created earlier. All the manufacturing detail regarding hole sizes and tap drill sizes is included in the library feature. Switching back to the assembly, we see that since we mirrored the components, the new waterline feature has been added to the other side of the mold automatically. No tool design is complete without a full set of drawings. Here we have the GA which could be used for quotation or for detailing the entire assembly. Typical stepped section views show all the detail we've added. The core and cavity detail with ejector pin locations and waterline features. The lifter. The sprue, runner and subgate and the side core. And of course, a full bill of materials. In an ideal world, the customer would never change their mind. Unfortunately, they do. But fortunately, SolidWorks has a number of tools to alleviate rework caused by drastic changes to the design. SOLIDWORKS utilities can be used to compare geometry between parts and accurately detail the differences between the two. By choosing two revisions of a part, each face is compared and colour coded to give an easy to read graphical feedback. This can take a couple of minutes to complete, but the results are worth the wait. Red indicates faces which have changed and we can see that the main shape of the components has changed significantly. But quite often not all changes are notified by the customer, so this comparison tool helps us find those small changes 
like different radii, which could have a big impact on the tooling. Our existing design can be updated with the new IGIS file and everything will update automatically, providing the important edges and faces in the new file can be matched with the old. If a change conflicts with the previous design and requires a new parting surface or side core, SOLIDWORKS will indicate any potential errors and try its best to rebuild the mould. Problem areas can then be fixed manually until the mould is working as expected. The good news is that you won't have to start from scratch, even with the toughest of design changes. This change in geometry does not affect the split line or the shut off surfaces, so we're in good shape to let SOLIDWORKS rebuild the rest of the mould features we made earlier. Finally, let's jump to the final deliverable, the drawing, and see the new core and cavity in place. SOLIDWORKS provides all the tools necessary to take a native or imported part and turn it into a complete mould stack along with inserts, cores and a complete fully detailed set of drawings in a very short space of time, ideal for rapid quotation and fast turnaround. With SOLIDWORKS you can take advantage of the many enhancements added with each release that provide cutting edge technology to get your job done faster, reduce time to market and ultimately design better products.